Imagine a city glowing brighter than the sun for a split second. An invisible shockwave races through the air, flattening everything in its path. A fireball so hot, it vaporizes steel, concrete, and flesh alike. This is not science fiction. It's the brutal reality behind every nuclear explosion ever detonated. The true scale of a nuclear blast is a terrifying force of nature, shaped by physics, but felt deeply by humanity. On August 6, 1945, the uranium gun-type bomb known as Little Boy detonated about 600 meters above Hiroshima. Weighing 4,400 kilograms, stretching 3 meters long and 71 centimeters in diameter, it unleashed a 15 kiloton explosion. The fireball grew to over 280 meters wide in milliseconds, reaching temperatures hotter than the sun's surface, over 5 million degrees Celsius, vaporizing everything beneath it. The resulting shockwave produced overpressures above 20 PSI within a one kilometer radius, crushing reinforced concrete buildings. Thermal radiation caused third degree burns up to three kilometers away and ignited fires across the city. Immediate fatalities reached 70,000 to 80,000, with total casualties surpassing 140,000 by year's end. Survivors suffered from the searing heat deadly radiation sickness, and psychological trauma that lasted decades. The B-61 family is a shape-shifting beast of destruction, offering yields from a tactical 0.3 kilotons to a strategic 340 kilotons. This thermonuclear gravity bomb, roughly 3.5 meters long and weighing 320 kilograms, can be dropped from a variety of aircraft. At maximum yield, the B-61 produces a fireball about 700 meters wide, incinerating all within its core. The blast wave shatters windows 20 kilometers away and flattens buildings within 5 kilometers. Thermal radiation would cause lethal third-degree burns up to 15 kilometers out, setting fires that rage uncontrollably. The B-61's variable yield makes it suitable for different mission profiles, from battlefield strikes to strategic city destruction. Fallout patterns would cause long-lasting contamination, threatening public health and agriculture far beyond the blast zone. The Minuteman III, a solid-fuel intercontinental ballistic missile weighing 35,000 kilograms and measuring 18 meters long, carries up to three warheads, each delivering 300 to 500 kilotons. Capable of striking targets 13,000 kilometers away within 30 minutes, a single 500 kiloton warhead detonating above Vladivostok city center would generate a fireball over one kilometer wide, vaporizing everything below. The blast wave would crush buildings within five kilometers, producing overpressures exceeding 20 PSI. Thermal radiation would cause third degree burns up to 10 kilometers away, igniting catastrophic fires. Casualties? Over a million dead, millions displaced, a city erased in minutes, followed by months of chaos and suffering. From stealthy Ohio-class submarines, the Trident II D-5 launches missiles 13.4 meters long, weighing 59,000 kilograms, carrying up to 14 warheads ranging from 100 to 455 kilotons each, capable of striking targets more than 11,000 kilometers away. A 455 kiloton warhead exploding over St. Petersburg would create a fireball 1.2 kilometers wide, instantly vaporizing the center. The blast wave levels structures within five kilometers, while thermal radiation causes deadly burns up to 15 kilometers out, igniting massive fires across the city. The death toll would exceed 1.5 million, with infrastructure destroyed and radiation poisoning lingering for years. The stealth of its underwater launch means no warning, a silent nightmare. The avant-garde hypersonic glide vehicle launched atop an ICBM speeds at Mach 20 plus, evading missile defenses with its eye maneuverability. Carrying a two megaton warhead, it produces a 1.5 kilometer wide fireball 
and a destructive blast wave exceeding 10 kilometers, with thermal radiation igniting fires 20 kilometers away. Its hypersonic speed and unpredictable flight path leave almost no time for detection or interception. Detonated over New York City, millions could die in seconds, with little to no warning. China's DF-5 liquid-fueled ICBM, standing 33 meters tall and weighing 183 kilograms, can deliver a 5-megaton warhead more than 13,000 kilometers away. A detonation over Tokyo would produce a fireball nearly 2 kilometers wide, vaporizing central wards instantly. The shockwave would demolish buildings within 15 kilometers, while thermal radiation would ignite fires stretching 30 kilometers beyond. Over 5 million would die immediately, with devastation spanning miles. Russia's RS-28 Sarmat is a monstrous 35-meter-tall ICBM. Weighing over 200,000 kilograms, capable of carrying up to 10 warheads each, packing 10 to 50 megatons of explosive power. A 50-megaton warhead detonating over Chicago's downtown generates a fireball nearly 6 kilometers wide, instantly vaporizing the city and surrounding suburbs. The shockwave flattens buildings up to 40 kilometers away, with thermal radiation causing fatal burns up to 100 kilometers out, sparking an unstoppable firestorm. The scale of radioactive fallout from such an explosion would contaminate vast areas across multiple states, forcing mass evacuations and rendering land uninhabitable for decades. Fallout particles would enter the atmosphere, potentially triggering global climate effects by injecting soot and radioactive materials high into the stratosphere, a nuclear winter scenario. Immediate deaths would number in the tens of millions, with radioactive fallout poisoning half a continent for years to come. Poseidon is a nuclear-powered underwater drone carrying an estimated 100-megaton warhead, traveling at over 100 kilometers per hour underwater and capable of traveling thousands of kilometers stealthily. A detonation in San Francisco Bay would create a massive underwater shockwave and tsunami, devastating the coastline. Radioactive fallout would poison the Pacific coast for decades, rendering the region uninhabitable. Millions could drown or die from radiation poisoning. This weapon doesn't just destroy cities. It contaminates entire ecosystems and coastal regions for generations crippling economies and livelihoods. The world balances on a knife's edge. One spark, one miscalculation, or one choice away from nuclear catastrophe. The true scale of nuclear explosions demands we act before the next blast changes everything. Will humanity learn in time or be consumed by its own destructive power? <laughs>